In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the quality settings of your game during runtime using a drop down menu like this. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I've got this project from one of my previous videos. And if we go ahead and hit play on this, you can see these random guys dancing inside the forest. And as I'm running this game on ultra high, it's lagging a lot. So what we want to do is to be able to control the quality settings while we are playing the game. So if we open up the quality tab here, I've gone ahead and made these three quality levels which we can change at any time. But as I'm using the new universal render pipeline, we won't be able to control everything from this quality tab. As you can see here, these settings won't affect much. In order to change the quality, we need to open up this render pipeline asset that I've got here. And here I've got everything set to the highest. You can set it to whatever configuration you like. So now that we have set the quality to high, let's just also go ahead and name this to high. Alright, so now we can just duplicate this to make some more quality levels for us. So I'll just name this one medium and another one for low. Alright, so I'll just quickly bump down the settings a bit for both the medium and low. You can set these configurations to whatever you like. Let me just do this quickly. Get rid of the shadows. Awesome, so we have made all the quality levels. Of course, you can add as many as you like here. Also, make sure you have the same number of quality levels up here in the quality depth. So now if we change this to low, we can see the effect here. So we need to do the same inside of the game. And in order to do that, we first need some UI. So let's go ahead and make some drop down first. I'll use this one here. Alright, and it's kind of small, so let's make it a bit bigger so that we can see it clearly. Alright, something like this looks good. Let's move it up to the top right. Somewhere around here. Awesome. Okay, so now all we need to do is add the quality levels here inside of the options. So low, medium, and high. Make sure you keep them in the right order, starting from low. Alright, so now that our drop down is ready, but it won't of course do anything yet. So if we go ahead and play the game. We can change between the quality levels here, but nothing really happens. So now we need to create a script that will change the quality levels for us. So let's click on canvas and let's make a new script. I'll call this one setting script. And let's create an ad. And open this up inside of Visual Studio. So firstly we need to include the text mesh pro here because I'm using the drop down from the text mesh pro and of course if you are using the unity's default one so you're going to use unity engine.ui so let's make a tmp drop down and simple drop down if you're using the unity's default one and now we need to make an array for all the render pipeline assets that we are going to use I'll just call them quality levels. And we need to make a method that will change the quality level setting using the drop down. So let's make a public void here. I'll call this one change level. And of course, we will need to pass an integer that will keep track of the quality level that we are on so i'll call this one value 
and based on that value we are going to change the quality level so in order to draw that we need to first get the quality settings call the set quality level method and pass in the value here so now that we have set up the quality level we also need to change the vendor pipeline asset based on this value here so quality settings dot render pipeline and we will just set this to whatever quality level that we get using this value here and also what we can do here is first set the drop down default value to whatever quality level that we are on at the start of our game so in order to do that we'll type in drop down dot value so we're going to set this to whatever quality level that we are on using get quality level from the quality settings. Awesome. So let's just save this and head back inside of Unity. So let's click on canvas. And here we need to set the reference for all of our quality levels, which are three in our case. So starting from low medium and then the high one all right and also we need to set the reference for our drop down so let's go ahead and drag this here awesome so now we can just go ahead and try this out and as soon as we start the game this should show us the high value and of course it does so yeah everything's working just fine Let's go to the quality settings here and we are currently on high settings so mm -hmm. let's try to change this using the drop down menu and there we go and of course we also need to set the method to change the quality level inside of the drop down so on value change let's drag and drop the canvas and here for the function we'll call the settings tip and make sure you select the dynamic change level method and not the static one all right so that's pretty much it let's try this again and we are on high settings and if we go back to the quality tab let's bring it back let's drag this down here and currently we are running on high as you can see here and let's try to change this to, to low and here you can see both the quality level and the render asset pipeline are changed to low awesome and the game is running pretty smoothly now let's change this to medium we can see the shadows here let's change this to high and it starts lagging again so yeah everything's working just fine and it updates here so yeah that's pretty much all for this video you and of course you can go ahead and add as many quality settings as you like like uh, very low to medium and then high and ultra it's all up to you now and also if you want me to make more videos on the quality settings including the resolution and sound effects and whatnot so you can just comment them down and i'll get to you as soon as possible so I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It'll be a great help. And until next time, see ya.